Hey there, Simplifiers. Welcome to day number 14 of the Savvy Sexy Social video every day in August. And also to the letter K, which is for kinesthetic, oral, or visual in our organizing ABCs. And today I'm going to have a little bit of an organizing nerd geek out moment for you because I love learning modalities and what they can do to sort of flip the script on what you've been told you should be doing in organizing. So if you aren't familiar with learning modalities, it's basically the idea that your body will take in information in three different ways. Either by doing, which is kinesthetic, by seeing, which is visual, or by hearing, which is audio. Everybody's body takes in information in all three of these ways, but typically there's one that will dominate the way that you learn. The reason I get really excited about this in terms of organizing is we often compare ourselves to others who are organized and say, well, my mom did it this way, so that's the way that I need to do it. Or my friend Sally is so organized, her home looks awesome all the time, I need to be just like her. But the problem is they might not learn the same way you learn and the skills that they have for keeping themselves organized might not work with the way that your body takes in information. Therefore, you might get a little discouraged because what works for them doesn't work for you. So I'm gonna give you some tips in each of these learning modalities today that might help you to move forward on some of your organizing efforts with a little bit different perspective than you might have had before. We'll start with kinesthetic, which is learning by doing. And my best advice to anybody who is kinesthetic, like myself, is to practice, practice, practice. You are going to have to develop a new habit in order to stay organized. So practice putting things away where they go, practice paying your bills on a regular basis, practice putting your coat back on the hook when you come in the door, practice, practice, practice. Establishing new habits is what's gonna help your body learn to be more organized. Also, the act of writing things down will help you more than typing things in. Because you're kinesthetic, you need physical action to sort of make things stick in your brain. So I highly recommend looking at a daily planner that you would write in or some sort of calendar where you would write things down, actually making a to-do list on a pen and paper. All of those things are gonna help ideas stick in a kinesthetic learner's brain more so than typing, which is just seen as some sort of keystroke to them. Next up, I'm gonna to talk to the oral learners, the people who learn by hearing. There's a great app called Evernote, which is available for Apple, Android, you can use it on your laptop, but what's great about it is that it has a recording function to allow you to record voice memos, voice reminders, notes to yourself, to-do lists, these are great for oral learners because you are hearing your voice play back to you and say what you need to do rather than looking at a list of stuff that needs to be done. It's gonna stick more the more that you hear it. If you have trouble organizing your time as an oral learner, you might wanna check out the 3030 app which allows you to set up a group of tasks and the amount of time that needs to be done for each task, and then your phone will actually tell you, hey, it's time to move on when you have passed the allotted time that you need. Another really simple way for an oral learner to stay on task is to set alarms within your phone. So if you want to make sure that you only spend 30 minutes on a task, whether it's working on homework or cleaning up in a certain room, you set a 30 minute timer and when it dings or when the alarm goes off, it says to your brain, hey, I'm supposed to make a change right now. But those are things that are really helpful for oral learners. They need to hear something over and over in order for it to stick in their brain and for them to remember. And finally today, I wanna to talk to the visual learners, the people who learn by seeing. There are a couple of great apps to help you, and the first I wanna talk about is called Plan It, Do It. Plan it, not plan it. And it is a visual to-do list app that is available for Apple and iPhone. And 
Basically what it does is instead of having a list of words written down for your to-do list, it has pictures associated with it on the app. And you can click the picture when you have finished your task. There are several stock pictures that they have available, but you can also upload a picture for the task that may not be in there for you. The last app that I suggest for visual learners is called the Functional Planning System. And it is basically a cross between a video plan playlist and a calendar. So again, this works really great for visual learners because you're not just seeing the words at eight o'clock in the morning of what you need to be doing. You are actually seeing the task played out in video. Now this goes a little bit more into people who might suffer with executive function disorders like autism or ADHD, but if you are a visual learner that needs visual reminders, you feel like you need to set things out or leave things out or see things in order to remember them, then this might be something worth checking out for you to help with those visual reminders, those constant ideas of what needs to be done when. Also, I highly recommend for visual learners to label, label, label. More so than any of the other learning modalities, when you see a label, it will be hard for you to not put the item that is listed on that label back where it belongs. So get yourself a label maker or even just a pen and paper and label where things need to go because that will really help to set up those ideas of giving an item a home and putting the item back in the home because you will see where it needs to go. So which one are you? Kinesthetic, oral, or visual? I'm curious to find out which learning modality my followers are and if any of the ideas that I've given you today have maybe sparked some organizing ideas for your home. Please comment below and if you liked this video today, give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any more of my organizing ABCs or any other organizing videos that I have coming up in the future. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you tomorrow for L is for letting go, letting go, letting go.